I have a confession to make. Around 20 years ago, I was not really connected to the issue of women's safety. And it had nothing to do with the fact I didn't know what was happening. It had everything to do with the fact I was unsure, I was confused, and I was misinformed about what I, as an Australian man, could do about it. And now we know how critical it is that Australian boys, young men, and blokes are connected to the issue of women's safety. Because women's safety is a men's issue. In recent years, we've seen a real dramatic and positive shift in our policies, practices, and in our culture that is highlighting the grotesque acts that some individuals choose to be violent, disrespectful and abusive towards women and children. We know it is happening. We hear the stories, we watch it on the news, we see it unfold in our workplaces, and yet the situation is remaining the same. We have a new national blueprint that has given us a framework to guide us that includes eight prevention pillars or objectives. And one of those is around connecting men to this issue. We know particularly that men have a voice, that men have agency, and that men have the power and the conviction to want to make things better. We've seen the Australian spirit of mateship and community particularly during moments of natural disaster, in war, in famine, and in moments that kind of pull us together under unusual and really trying circumstances. And this year for White Ribbon Day, we're not telling you that violence against women is an issue. We know that. What we're asking Australians to do is to tap into that sense of community and mateship and do something about being the change. Men across Australia, we're calling you in. We're not calling you out because we know that we can't just shame and legislate our way from this problem. We need to connect men by showing men that they've got a role to play. White Ribbon Day is just one day out of the year. We all must act in every moment, in every interaction and in every experience to uphold not just virtues of kindness, compassion and love. We must do that in every single moment of our days. Violence against women and children is a social problem. And it is something that we can fix. The federal government has set an aspirational target. And hey, we've got to get behind it. We can end this in a generation. We must end this in a generation. There's no other option. And we can only do that when we work together. I don't want to be standing here in 20 years time confessing that we knew something and we didn't do anything about it. I want to be here in 20 years time talking about the incredible momentum that's already been built through a national plan, through domestic violence being recognised in leave in workplace policies, in acknowledging the role of paid parental leave in gender equality, and by looking through the hourglass by saying, yeah, right now, mainstream Australia is on notice but also mainstream Australia did something about it. Let's be the change Australia and let's create a nation that is free of all forms of violence, all forms of men's violence and abuse and disrespect. And let's create an Australia of mateship, compassion, kindness and love.